PUBG sells 10 million micropactors all over the place and what to buy. We'll get into it in the breakdown. What's going on, people? It's your boy, The Real Master, and welcome to your daily dose. And as always, before we get started, three things. Just just do these three quick things for me. Just, just three. First one, get into the safe zone with that like button. Subscribe here for more. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I drop a video. Now let's break it down. First up, we got Player Unknown Battlegrounds, the PC breakaway hit juggernaut, whatever you want to call it, that has, you know, just been selling ridiculous. It's been also doing live numbers ridiculously. So it has just hit a new milestone, 10 million sold. That's literally from <laughs> the beginning of August because at Gamescom, they announced 8 million. So from the beginning of August, when Gamescom was popping to the beginning of September, they sold another 2 million. So this game is, is is doing what it's supposed to do. It is a fun game. It's fun. And even just um, its concurrent player base, like it's ridiculous how many people are playing it at once. Like you can get they're They're like approaching a million playing at one time. And it's because the game is fun. Also, because we're, we're in a space where these type of games are few and far between but once you get one that's real good it's one of those things you you attach to and it's addictive you want to try to get that new chicken dinner you want to try to you know go and get this this gun and see how you can try to you know maybe do a challenge or something pistol only whatever it may be but the game provides enough um nuance where as you play it and get better you want to continue to play it and it would be some games where it's real quick you just walk, hop in you land that guy picks up the gun before you you're done but quick restart you're back in the game real quick so it's it's one of those games where it provides enough nuance that it lets you play how you want to play within a you know the scope of how it's how the game is set up and it's doing phenomenal it's it's coming to xbox this year probably around december i would say just because of how they've been talking about um the the console version it looks to be coming along well um I, i'm just seeing if they're going to be able to hit uh 60 fps because that'll be the determining factor at least on the xbox one x on the base xbox one i'm almost positive it'll be 30 locked but or you know locked quote unquote but i i really want them to try to push for 60 fps they said they're trying they haven't made up any you know particular things but microsoft is publishing it and so now they're sending a bunch of you know people over to help them make the game to blue hole so you know it's it's one of those things where Xbox is trying to ensure that this game does as good as it's doing on PC on Xbox because it caters to the Xbox crowd. It's a shooter and Xbox people like that. So congratulations on the 10 million. I expect another two by the end of the month, I guess. At this rate, you never know. Next up, we got Michael Pactor. And this dude, he's an analyst for those of you who don't know he basically predicts random business occurrences often more often than not he's wrong like if his his predictive analysis is mostly based on speculation from what i can tell like he, he if he, he's talking about specific numbers he's generally okay with those because those numbers are you know algorithmic they do certain trends by certain times and that's just how they are he predicted the, the switch wouldn't sell that was wrong he, he predicted that nobody would want the xbox one x because it's cost $500 then a pre-order sold out and then he got mad that the pre-order sold out he was like he, he came out and said don't believe every number you see or whatever because it's often wrong and then he tried to equate it to things that weren't even close to the pre-order Amazon list then after everybody went after him about that he comes back a week later on Twitter and says he thinks it's gonna sell 1 million then <laughs> soon after that he says that is gonna outsell the PS4 Pro which means he's gonna sell at least 2 million so like I said he's all over the place with his predictive analysis quote-unquote but he said on multiple occasions he gets paid to be wrong and 
he's often wrong, but he's a marketing genius because it keeps him relevant to say, oh, they're not going to do well or, oh, don't believe this. And then people come back to him and then people will go watch his YouTube channel or they'll go, you know, hit him on Twitter or it keeps his name relevant. So for all of the wrong he said, he is a genius when it comes to ensuring that his name is out there in them streets but like i said michael pactor he's he's up down he doesn't know if xbox is gonna sell well he doesn't know if playstation go sell well he just says whatever he wants to say and people listen to it and it's crazy how people will attach on to analysts like it'll be some random analyst said x y and z and all of a sudden it's, it's law from that point on it's very weird how that works but like i said he's all over the place And the last section of today is what to buy. And for those of you who don't know, this is my weekly segment where I go over all the deals throughout the internet and how great or bad they are. I will start off with the Xbox One. And the Xbox deals of gold for this week are Forza Horizon 3 and a Forza uh, Horizon 2 bundle. So you get both games. That's 50% off. Forza 6 is 40% off. They just gave out Forza 5 with the uh, games of gold. So if you haven't gotten that you can download that now um worms armageddon dirt 4 which I, I like dirt 4 and if you're into rally car dirt 4 is really for you uh the crew and they have various add-ons for forza 6 as well as forza 5 um and they have sniper ghost warrior 3 which is not a bad game it's not the greatest game i think they were ultra ambitious and didn't quite pull it off the way they thought but it's a decent game and it's the season pass edition so you get the game plus all the dlc and that's 50 percent off and then they have a bevy of ea games um unravel peggle 2 mirror's edge catalyst and then they have like the ea family bundle which comes with need for speed uh plants vs zombies garden warfare 2 and unravel quick side note all of those games are in ea access so if you don't want to buy those games from here, you can just go to go get EA access five bucks a month. I would suggest going for the thirty dollars a year, but five bucks a month and you get access to these games plus uh, I think it's forty some other games, including Titanfall Two, Battlefield One, um, and I'm sure Mass Effect and Java is coming soon. But like I said, if you're a fan of any of those games, the EA games, I would suggest checking out the list for EA Access or Origin Access because Origin Access has even more games than EA Access. Next up, we got the PlayStation and PlayStation has a better set of deals just because I think they have um, more nuanced deals for a lot of JRPG fans because they have things like Dragon Ball Xenoverse is on sale, uh, God Eater 2 is on sale for, it was $9.99 earlier, uh, it's up to $14.99. So I don't know if earlier was just a mistake, but it's up to $14.99 now. Um, One Piece Burning Blood is on sale for 50% off. Uh, Saint Seiya is on sale. Uh, Naruto Shippuden, Sword Art Online, Tales of Brasaria. Like it's a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of Japanese RPGs on sale. Dark Souls 2, um, and it's just, it's one of those things, uh, Farming Simulator. Like it, they, their sale is very focused on the JRPG realm. And if you're into those things, then check out the PlayStation sale. Next up, we got the Humble Bundle and <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the Humble Monthly, then I'm going to come back around to the Humble Bundle. Uh, the Humble Monthly, you get Tomb Raider if you uh, order the early um, access edition for the Humble Monthly. You get Rise of the Tomb Raider. Um, also, the September games have been released, and they are Banner Saga 2, Worms WMD, uh, Momodoria, Reverie Under the Moonlight, Killing Floor 2, Untold Stories, Hacky, Tyrium, and Volunteer. Those are the September games um, that you get if you're part of Humble Monthly. And like I said, the pre-order game um, is Rise of the Tomb Raider for next month. It's the early access game for next month. And Humble Monthly works the, every month. At the first Friday of the month, they drop whatever games for the monthly for that month. And you can get a early access game, which is usually one of the better games in their setup for that month. Rise of the Tomb Raider, fantastic game. If you haven't played it, I would suggest you basically get it for 10 bucks, 12 bucks if you don't do the yearly. If you do the monthly, it's 12 bucks. So 12 bucks for Rise of the Tomb Raider plus whatever games come out next month. Fantastic deal. 
and I'm going to go to the Humble Bundle. The Humble Bundle is Huni Sakura. It's a bunch of basically hentai type games, and I'm not going to even take that chance that YouTube will flag me. Also, I'm not a fan of any of this. So if you are, I highly suggest you go outside because real women are outside. Just just a quick little, you know, PSA from me to you. As far as GOG is concerned, they have a uh, Siberia 2, couple of the Stalker series, um, YS7. There are a lot of anime games on there too, but GOG, the, the reason I love GOG is because DRM free. Like you can't go wrong with DRM free. And <clears throat> if I had the choice, I would buy every single thing I buy from GOG, but Steam sales are a thing. So it is what it is. And speaking of Steam, on Steam, they have Nier Automata on sale for 35% off. So you get it for roughly 40 bucks um and armor 3 is on sale because they have the new pack coming out so armor has been on sale for i think two weeks at this point in time uh vanquish is also on sale and that is a fantastic game it's only 25 percent off but it is a fantastic game i would suggest anybody who has a computer and you are capable of running it pick up vanquish it is fast paced it is just fantastic and uh, the remastered pc version is everything it should be um and they have some tom clancy games they got splinter cell blacklist they got chaos theory they got the original spinner cell they got um the original splinter cell the elite echelon edition as well as sniper ghost warrior 3 like i said on xbox so steam sales aren't too bad this week those are the mid tier sales they also have prototype one and two and those are decent um open world just blow up stuff type games so if you into that feel free to go check those out on steam that's all i got for you today that's all the stuff you can buy and all the stuff you can spend your money on y'all let me know in the comment section which i think about michael pactor and him being all over the place as well as if you're gonna pick up any of these games I went through. Follow your boy on Twitter at the real masculine, mixer.com backslash the real masculine. Lately I've been streaming a lot of Titanfall 2, and my throwback Thursday game is Jade Empire. So swing by the stream and check your boy out. Broadband bullies in the building. This being your boy Masculine. Always give me the real. I love y'all like some play cousins, and I'm out.